strength yeah. buff. Yeah, his his strength buff. Yeah, he could use life, but he's well, got great move speed. He's like, he's real laser items a little bit. If it like basically means that you're not good until 15 minutes when you get defusal. You could have the defusal earlier at like 10 or 12 or something like that, and then yeah. start diving heroes. But it's really good against Brew. It's really good against Sniper because you can definitely dive on top of them. And Batrider also you, also you can definitely evade him by using double game. Here oh, we go. Catch one. Snowball. Hi S4. How you doing? And I like it. Axe moves to the front, and there's your first blood. Kaiser, short for Kaiser Sose, gets the kill right there. And it's going to be LC who strike first. Moscow happened with already his incredible move speed. But I, I think this is smarter, though, if you think about it, because he's already 325 movement speed. He doesn't really need boots. He gets plus 9 damage. They're actually going on S4 a little surprisingly. There's the stun as well. Big Fissure. There's the call. S4 is getting low, and that is going to be his death, but X falls right after. Maybe Puppy will die. There's the uh, Ice Shards or whatever the heck that's called. Puppy will go down, and maybe Tusk living. Nope. The Null Talisman's going to do it, and maybe even Crow's going to get a triple here. He's got two in Fade Bolt. Got and it. And I think that's going to be it. Wow. Double kill on Kuro. How about that for a null, huh? So he gets it done. It worked out. He got the Whoa. mana, but we see Queen of Pain coming in. A couple right clicks. Good deny by S4. Very Damn. likely that he'd do that. Good enough player to realize that that's going to result in the possibility of denying. So he gets the gets the deny. Jeez. Well played. Well played. And you were right. It is Ice Shards. Make you feel, make you feel, make you feel, make you feel a little yes, better. Yes, but I did one, say but. Fade Bolt instead of Arcane Bolt. It's okay. I suck, guys. I'm it's sorry. okay. Don't, don't flame me about going it. Going Arteezy. Ooh, this is kind of bad for Arteezy here. I feel oh, like he's he in trouble. Oh, he's in. Yeah, they're going Quap, but there's going to be those Ice Shards. Snowball forward. Now you're he's Sniper. Got a he's just going to man the blink. Tries to dodge it. Good play by Arteezy. That might get the kill. Oh, I oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's just the tip. And a great TP <laughs> as well from Kuroki. Pulls him up to level four. That's Most sky <laughs> damage by about 12 per arcane bolt. That's really not that amazing, but it gives you a lot of right click damage. Yeah, he hits harder stats. than anyone else on his team. Yeah, and his attack range is really high at 600. His attack speed is bad because his agility is low, but now he's got another 9 agility. That's 10 attack speed, guys. It's not that bad. Now, I can't, I can't keep eyes on oh, the top lane. Now, yeah, there goes the snowball. They move on to Kuroki. Nice little bounty the you got there. We want to take it, it but. The Fissure slows him down, and now they're going to make a go on the Ventral Spear on the backhand side. Oh, can he get a kill with the Arcane Bolt? He won't. He ends up going down. It's a support for a support, though the bounty on Kuro definitely tips towards Elsie's favor. Yeah. They run away. and Now, top has been a hot mess right now for both sides. Yeah, really a lot nice. of engagements that worked out more likely Ooh, for Secret. RTZ might fight. But, no, no, oh my, yeah, I, I just want to take one moment to look go at ahead. bottom lane, but Do everything... It. But they're making it hard for me right. to purge. They ignore, fight everywhere. Ignore everything. We I don't can't. care if a fight happens. I can't. Puppy's dying don't, now. Don't look. Like, don't look, man. <laughs> I, I gotta look. I can't look away. S4, though, is gonna be walking away. Low life, low mana. Looks to turn, re-engage as Kuro does show up. Starts dishing out the right click. Oh, Snowball. back in. Back the other way. They're gonna look to go on S4. Very low on life, but they can't get a hold of him. Now they turn back for Kuro. This call. And the call does not connect, but... Kuro wants it. It's gonna be close. Will he spin in time? And a couple more nukes gets it. Oh, my God. And here comes Puppy. Fissure could be on the route. It is. Great block. And a block. See you later, Spartan. Grab for S4 right there as the turnaround. This that's, lane, man. That's a so. Skywrath Mage. I want to say this is like one of the most dominant performances, but I wouldn't be lying. There's been other matches, but here we go. Boom! They get a hold of Arteezy with the scream. They make the nice their snowball. way out with the snowball, but they don't go too far. Kuro. He's got to be a little careful. Rotates he doesn't in. have any attack speed here. Oh, great silence on Quap. If he would have nuked him, actually, that would have been a kill there, but he didn't. And a couple more trades. Dagger comes through. He's going to jump away. Great deny oh, from Puppy man. there. They're still going to clean him up. If he wants to last hit the Sigil. It's actually a lot of gold, about 80, but Towers do almost nothing. 90 gold here for the level 1 Sigil. I, I feel like Tusk is really showing his worth here. A little bit of a fight top, of course, because why would the fights ever stop? S4 really yeah. slow here. Bad oh comes God. in with a stupidly fast boot to travel. Now going to be able to chase <laughs> on Ventral inside. Spirit. Man, this game is weird. <laughs> <laughs> the chop makes him so fast. Great call, actually, by Axis. Could turn things. Well, we see the chop. It's so low. 277 is not low enough. The burn damage doesn't Ooh. get Axe. 26 HP. Oh, my gosh. Flame break. He doesn't have enough mana. He's so close. What a crazy game. This is ridiculous. This is like what I said yesterday with Zai. That's 49 freaking happen. It just doesn't stop. Spartan's going to eat a little bit of nuke damage, and the rotations start coming back in, and their trifecta is whole once more. Man, I feel like we're really seeing the value of Snowball. They're, they are going again. 
Great split from S4. They might be able to turn this. They should go on the Tusk probably, but they actually change targets a bit. Zai comes in as well. Call, but he gets lifted in there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Evade that damage, and then now you're going back in for the fight. Wave of Terror comes as well. Zai's getting a bit low, and Axe proves to be a little too tanky here. A couple more nukes. Gets him. 145 damage. Thank God for no talismans, guys. The snowball <laughs> comes to actually pull the Tusk to a bad position, but Quap shows up, going for another kill, picks off Zai. Now going on to Croak. He doesn't even have to ulti for this. A couple right clicks, and that's going to be a dead Skyrath Mage. He tries to buy out before he dies, but nothing he can do there. And they're going toe to toe with Secret here. What a weird game. In this top lane, at least for now, I just I can't help but question like what who's getting what done elsewhere? You gotta remember there's a sniper in this game. Yeah. <laughs> he's been sitting here farming mid this whole time. It's not like he's rotating the top they set up in just going mono e mono with a bat rider. He just put more emphasis on the spirit lance. But oh boy! Bottom lane stun. Skyrath Mage uses the doppelganger to go off to the right hand side. Now he looks to turn around on a puppy. Spirit Lance is gonna fly. Ooh, he's in but yeah, now he's in trouble. Kuro finds the real one. I zones him back. Okay. Wow, Double look at the damage. More, he's just Stops. He goes down and he turns back with a spirit lance. Can he get a kill in return? No! That smoke's oh, not going to disjoint the tower hit. And Just slightly too close. That would have actually kept him alive, though, because that was an illusion. Oh. He was far away from the tower. More fighting on the top lane, but, yep. you know, we didn't have to tell you that. Goes oh, in. RTZ is so Christ. low. He's dead. He gets to go down. Sour Strike's going to be there. S4 jumps in, gets the clap. Eventual Spirit gets blasted in nuke. Meanwhile, Zai gets dunked right there from Madara trying to fly back and away. It's a three for three all day from top to bottom of this map, but it doesn't this stop there. Madara goes toe-to-toe okay, -to -toe with S4. Here comes Kaiser, moves in. Fissure connects, oh, takes nice. out Brew. Walk in, Echo Slam, fishes out the other. Madara walks away with a triple kill. What the hell are we watching right now? Ten minutes in, 18 to 14. Top of the net worth for Kaiser right here with RTZ right behind. My goodness. Man, Kuro's all about int items here. He's even going to pick... All right, there he is. I'm they spot him. Oh, mud golems. dodges Whoa, it. Great escape that here. That was a really quick reaction. He's in trouble, though. He's got a TP. 20 seconds for another doppelganger. And there's and nothing he can do boom. at this point. Sorry. Flame break. I got it for you. Well, Bye. he can fight him. Lasso. Pull back. Kuro's got to get there to help out. But there... Okay. Yeah, there's this not... Deny it. me! Deny me! Doesn't get it. Okay, well, so... Even if he had another, if he even if he had more levels of doppelganger, I don't think he was going to survive there. It was just he needs some ward coverage. I mean, the, his allied teams are fighting so much on this top half. There's no lasso, but he is. Hi, how you doing? This just could be jumps a over. Oh, he loses the vision. There it is. Stun comes through. Needs a bit more damage. It's so close. Oh, gets it done. Pump what a gets dunk! An echo off right before he dies. Snowball for the RTZ save, for but it's sure. going on to Arteezy. Can they burst him down in time? They can. Jeez. That's just getting blown up right there. Three for one trade. Happily traded right there for Secret. Finally to the point where Tusk's snowball is a little scary. I mean, there are a lot of AoEs coming out of Secret. Yeah. Flame Break is almost maxed out here. We've got Panda Clap. We've got Earthshaker abilities. His dunk was amazing there. They just got a little too grouped up on the greedy attempt from Bench here. I don't like the Vit Booster. I feel like it's not doing a whole lot for him. I feel like if you should just go Treads into Diffusal. I, I feel like that's the build that does the most. Well, we'll see if he can make the best of what itemization he's decided to go for here, but... It just felt like the overall game plan for LC has been go, 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 but now they have to put the pedal down and, well, they're not going to get the chance. Kaiser mid lane gets uh, locked on from Zai, and it's just an easy Mystic Flare combo and cleanup right there. Kuro and his Skywrath Mage, 7 and 5. You don't see that very often in your Skywrath Mages. And, well, with that, they're able to fall through and try to make a push happen here in the mid tier 1. Meanwhile, bottom lane is PL, dealing with zone split push. He might be able to trade towers. Top lane, Madara. He's going to get, uh, well, ganked right now. Snipe flies through. Boom! See ya! Gets sniped on down. Arteezy grabs that kill, and they make it two kills across the map. 20 to 20 now even up, but mid lane, it doesn't stop there. Cyclone now wow. going to be throwing up the Tusk. Vengeful Spirit trying to get away. Slowly burned. Flame Break. It's Zai who gets that kill. Kuro barely alive. Oh. No! Goes down to those Ice Shards. I give my life to get you, Kuro. Screw you, says the Tusk. But I he ends don't up think that's dying. worth it. As he's been pressured so much, he needs a way to keep his HP up and to stay alive. But, man, he's he's having a rough game. I mean, He just needs a Diffusal Blade. It's going to be a while until you can get it. If you're getting a Vanguard, I imagine you're in a rough game. Oh, he's oh in it's the silence. No, you're not doing anything. No and, man, he's done. No, you can't even get yeah. the swap to save him. Oh, look at the slow. They had a slow on the snowball as well, so that means <laughs> Tusk is just in a bad spot. That is just an awkward snowball going nowhere real quick. Shards trying to keep someone back. It's S4 for now, but Casper, they get the jump, they get the silence, and they will get the kill. Nice maybe? Set up on he might live. They want a no, twofer maybe on the Madara thereafter, and they could get it. Snipe will fly in. 
connects. Kuro, though, very low. Goes down as the trade. A worthy trade. And here comes that snowball again. This one not slowed. Brings in some help. Puppy gets uppercutted. Swap back save, but gets taken care of with that fissure. And now Vengeful Spirit, the last little hope here for LC. Doesn't get the kill. Can't even get the kill. Puppy walks away with about 30 life. It's Tranquil is paying off there. Four armor. Not to be under un underestimated <laughs> no, on a support. It just helps so much. He's going to suicide here. I don't think he did that on purpose. Maybe Vengeful I don't think Spirit, he did if that you put on purpose. one point into Vengeful Aura, you would have got to still do with the hero. But many teams don't consider it. Right now, Yule's up. Vengeful Spirit can be knocked forward, gets everything off, and then goes down. So that's a quick quick kill sacrifice. The rest of LC are like, we're done here. Got we a gotta, blink on Sniper. Go. Uh, right. This is a counter to mobility, or it's a it's a mobility advantage item, but he's using it as a counter to it. Can the catch axe here? He looks in trouble. They need to stop him from blinking. There it is. There, good they should be step. good. Yeah, no call for you. Sorry, Madara. Well, here's Puppy Kaiser tries to zone them back. It's Yules himself, and they still slowly bring down the giant Madara here. And there's gonna be the Fissure setup. Puppy always there and behind to kind of help out with an assist, and it's Zai who cleans out the kill. Now in a mega kill streak on your back rider. Back rider. That's garbage. If you have a stout shield, that's nothing. Like, he can't go for a Yasha here. He's, if he builds a Manta first, he's just playing the hero wrong. Boom. Completely playing the hero wrong, I think. Imagine if one of Seeker could get, like, a Crimson Guard. Oh, Spartan dead as well. Man, they get Vengeful, they get Spartan. It's an easy two-for-none special. Secret just continue to put on a clinic here at this point. Very similar to game number one. It seems a bit close for a bit. We had a lot of action in the top lane that kind of could go either way, but then eventually you can see Secret really like shine through and just really take advantage of the game at this point, yeah. knowing what they have to work with and really executing well. He's got a DD this time. It's a little scary for Axe. Yeah, this, is, this could be just slow and painful here at this point. Oh, oh Kaiser shows up. Needs a Quap ult. Doesn't have it, though. A yeah, couple right clicks. I think he can get this. Yeah, big damage from the Orchid, and that's going to be it. Nice. So they turn it around for once. All right, nice stuff. So I kind of trying to do the job himself. Probably needed an extra hand, but... Oh, he's going in. Puppy's going to try to get the kill. He's going to be able to get it. Boom. Picks off the Quap solo with a Blink Dagger. That's the power of the Earthshaker support. Not a lot of supports can do those solo kills. And there it is. He's chasing down Kuro, but unfortunately, the way that Sky ulti works... Oh, look at that charge. Goes all the way around, but... <laughs> As oh. soon as he turns the corner, Arteezy's pointing the gun right at his face. Are you committed to that rush once you go? Or can you stop halfway You through? can stop. You can stop. But okay. it can do amazing things. You can, like, charge after blink daggers and stuff like yes. that. More of their game to lose at this point. It was definitely a really aggressive game early on. and But there's a bit of ganking on both ways. Actually, a swap coming. Going on Kuro. He doesn't get the high ground, so he should be killed here. No chop, unfortunately. Moon speed would have been really nice. Quap ulti comes out, catches two Ooh. BKB, but a little bit late, so her HP is low. Now she's got to retreat to the high ground. Arteezy's up chasing. He's got a Mjolnir. Tons of damage coming from him. That's going to finish up the axe. He does reflect a lot of damage back to himself, though. PL Illusions doing a whole lot of nothing in the backside. Back goes down. That's a gem on the ground. They got to defend that because they needed to deward. And now Quap escaping. Arteezy's got to trap on two seconds. Puppy sees that he grabs the gem, and they can't make the chase on the Kaiser. Kaiser will be able to get away. It ends up being a 3-for-2 trade, but because of how far behind LC is, they actually get the gold advantage. Not by much, but they, they do manage to get themselves a, a 200 gold swing. <laughs> so, Secret still with 3 strong, hanging around this mid lane, knowing that only the peak... Yeah. Boop! That's 900 damage right and, there. And the other cool part about all this int that he's bought is that his mana pool is so big that a lot of skies, it's basically like you ulti combo and you're out of mana. But he can do an ulti combo and still have leftover. Swap going to the high ground into an immediate punch oh, on S4. Can man. they get the killer? Good execution. Can they chop him? They're going to need the attack speed. Doesn't get it. But looks like an ult on. No, he keeps changing targets. There it is. Vengeful Spirit is in some trouble. Gets picked off. Going after Kuro now. Kuro, Yules it up. Oh, Quapo no. catches Arteezy at least, but still chasing. No axe call. And now Arteezy looking to kite if possible. But now he's got to fight the Quap. He's pretty much here or dead. Great echo slam from Puppy. Arteezy going to TP back. He might not make it. He doesn't. Follow up by Phantom Lancer, still Whoa. chasing it. It looks like LC finally going to win a fight here, chasing out Puppy. Another enchant on buyback from Arteezy, though. He wants to kill the Phantom Lancer. He's got to dodge the hit. He can't get it off in time. Great fissure from Puppy. And it looked good for him, but oh, that's... They lose everyone it. at the end of it. Arteezy gets a double kill after buying back. That was LC's best chance. They had a great flank yeah. play set up. They get their quick kill. They take out the brew. Uh, I, I'd be curious to see how that interaction could work here, but... That's definitely a step in the right direction for LC. If they can kind of pump the brakes a little bit here, if they can find a couple of picks and then not get too bloodthirsty yep. and crazy, 
This uh, PL could bring the game back little by little, Oops. but oh Finding boy. the yeah. quap. They get a hold of uh, Kaiser here, pull back into the assassinate. Dunk as well. Doesn't yep, need it. Oh, might have needed to. Blinks away, gets away. Venge is going to die now, I think. Yeah, it will. Good swap back Almost save, lived. though. Kaiser's oh. still alive. Oh! Last Waves second. goodbye. Jeez, so Puppy close. Shy's like, it. I don't want that to happen. He is not done yet. Forces forward. Oh, he's not done. Another force forward. Turns, Turns and fights. He's got a Yules in the three. He's got a BKB as well, but he's not too worried. He might die to you. Ooh, that was close. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Puppy should have dunked the Quap. He needed the chain stun. Oh, man, you're it's right. It's a bit of ward yeah. metagame coming out. Oh, that's a dead queen of pain. Will we see a dunk? Oh, my he God. He definitely didn't hold back this time. That is a, <laughs> that's an ancient seal plus Earthshaker combo. If you thought that did damage before, man, throw that ancient hurt. seal on top, and that's a big damage amp. So kill on the enemy core. He did have BKB, but he was going high ground there, and they, he walked right into that one. Very unfortunate. Now out a minute with no buyback. It's Zai's a big, big deal. BKB. He can initiate, pull somebody mid. Puppy only has a fissure, though. Gets Madara. Pulls the axe back in forward. Kuro waiting before he lines up the Mystic Flare. Maybe uh, doesn't want to go into the blade mail, but it doesn't matter. Madara ends up going down. Now Puppy, very little on mana. Still getting the job done. Yule's going to be connecting on your PL. PL. Oh, Doppel doesn't get low gets ground. away, but does not get to the low ground. Does still get swapped back. Oh. Save from Vengeful Spirit. There we go. Lucian's doing damage. Finally, Puppy's low at 200. Still chasing him, though. He's got to jump on the sniper. I think that's what I'd go for. He's going in. Melee range. Hitting Arteezy. Can he get the lightning? Prox goes high ground again. Big flame break there, and he's stuck in the trees. Oh. All right. He can double gang once. No, the double Yules, Yules again. gaming. Doppel. No. Doesn't do it. He's getting close to getting carry. Like, think if he got a Diffusal Blade earlier, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, you could definitely see how things really get turned up on your PL once you get that Diffusal together. Yeah. The damage just gets out. Oh, Zai. Oh, he could actually get this kill. Forward. He's going to have to pop a BKB. Careful. Oh, BKB is going to be can, He can still chase this. Like, he can, he can continuously chase. Oh, he pulls back. Pulls back, fear that he's going to be going too far into the dark and don't know what secret member could be there behind him. Puppy is nearby, but it's top lane where they have another two going for a tier two. That last outer tower Radiant's will go down. And LC oh, big moving. call. Big Gets jump. them both. Can they lock them? Scream lined up, and here comes the right click in wow. the double dunk. Flies through. Madara cleans out the top secret lane, and they take it back. 35-49. It's a step in the right direction, but they got 10 more steps to go. <laughs> not, not only... That was that was Arteezy's buyback kill, by the way. He hasn't died since then, to oh, my yeah. knowledge, so he's dead for 100 seconds. Yeah, he got that Scotty. And he bought out, so he can't actually yeah. do anything right now. This is a really good opportunity for LC to accomplish something. If they're tracking his items, they could see that he bought the Asha, but this might be a Quap death. Fissure will see a dunk most likely. Enchant Totem. It's going to be close to get him. Oh, Quap man. dies again. Man, Zai's doing such a good job. It doesn't matter where he is. He always finds a hero, and there's always an ally that's kind of close enough range. That way, no matter who he finds, it's a dead hero. Like, that's such a big kill there. They had two dead heroes, and now they've equaled it up to a, three, a yep. four versus three. Faker kind of a game of hold, though. Swap back. You might have caster cursed Zai right there, dude. I, you did. You I definitely have, did. I that is it. the classic CC that we call the caster curse, where you <laughs> give lots of props to someone how good they play, and then they just get murdered like that. So. Yeah. Really good execution, though. They swap timed the Walrus Punch at the same time. That's like the fourth time they've done this combo. They swap, and immediately the one second stun, followed up by the Snowball one second stun. That's a lot of disable. And at that point, Venger, whoever else, can do a follow up disable. Really good ganking combo there. I, f I feel like there's a lot of synergy in LC's draft here, that, and they've definitely practiced this. I can see a lot of refinement here. Ooh, Another Madara. kill. Damn. That's, that's kill. Sky. On Kuro, top lane, wasn't even expecting it. Kuro just caught out on his own. Your Axe finds another grab, and he's got his Ogre Club. Looking to finish out an Agnum Scepter at this point in the game. Or he has two of got him. But they're just trying to create the space, maybe put down a... Do they have any wards on hand to kind of make sure they can maintain the vision over Ooh, here? Zai spotting heroes. <laughs> can they... they get the kill. If they get anyone oh, picked off here, block. double. We get last on one, wants to go for the next target. Good Eventual. snowball. Ventral Spirit was not an appetizing treat, but might have to be now as the swap back Yules is there. Does decide to get a hold of Ventral Spirit. Takes out that one. Makes it two-man kill. They could go back for the Roche if they want to, or they can go for high ground. We'll see Secret as they plant themselves in mid. They're going to go for the high ground. So this could be a tier three, some damage on the racks, and then fall back for the Roche. Or at least maybe hopefully they were going to try to bait out a buyback, but there's no buyback to, to even use. Yeah, I feel like they might as well take... Just take the Rex here. Well, buyback was up now, and he quickly uses it. And now, oh, be S4 screen. might be in trouble here. Oh, he does get dunked. Whoa! Bit of a mistake. This could allow them to chase here. Movement speed advantage. Buyback as well. 
from the Tuskar to get some extra stuns here. Yules is up on Skyrath Mage. He's going to need a blink call. Gets it off. Sakura's in trouble. Big damage coming in. He's almost in dunk range. Great Yules Whoa. as well. Snowball comes through. Waste some time going after Puppy. But Puppy four staffs the low ground. Punch on top of Batrider. He's low as well. They keep forcing. Four staff gaming, man. Haven't seen this since like MLG Columbus. It's unbelievable. They get everyone out of the range just in time. They need it's really fantastic as well. It's kind of nice that he has treads in this case. It really leverages the plus int that he's getting. This is ridiculous. Might see an initiation. There it is. Jump in. Lasso. Madara Great swap. Swap back immediately. Refresher Double though. Lasso though. Eh, gets him again. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I got another one for you. Refresh this one, Venge. Good yeah. try. <laughs> Pulls him back, but he's a meaty boy. He's going to walk back into the base and into a snowball. And they're like, no, get back in that battle. And they throw him right back towards Zai. Meanwhile, S4 splits. They take down the Tusk. And now PL makes a go onto S4, who's trying to make a go onto the Ventral Spirit. Eventually takes him down. RZZ goes into the base, moving on forward. And now he's on the backside of a bad fight with PL, potentially, in a man mode. He does have the Aegis, however. Will use it. Gets expended. Relaxed. Barely alive. Has to walk away. Doppelganger trying to make it back to the base. Arteezy actually doesn't stay and get off like yeah. an assassinate or anything. Just gets silenced up and goes back on the outside. And look at that net worth difference. That was a panda panda attacking a PL. And the sniper had like, what is this, 6k gold advantage over him. And he was actually fighting competitively. Yeah. Like, Peel's actually very strong in a fight. Look at this croak. He's easily getting it cleaned up as well. The illusion goes after Ooh, him. Nope, Force that to low forces. ground. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the PL right now? I don't Team even know. Team Star Wars over here. They got the force and they're definitely using it here. Mid lane. There's the jump in dunk. Holy crap. They wipe out everyone. Double buyback comes out from both. Relaxes PL. Same with Kaiser. And it's secret though. Going for these uncontested racks. At least no tier 3 in the way. And they're going to look to go in and try to clear them out. Spams out the illusions. Trying to slow them down. Reducing Arteezy's mana by a very small amount. But the Rax is definitely going to fall here. Yeah. Got a respawn from Tusk. He's going to TP kind of aggressively. They might snowball in for this one. We'll see. Silence on Arteezy. Still chasing BKB now on Quap. He can do a blink ult in one second. If they can get Zai, that'd be pretty good. He's pretty low. S4 getting low as well. Peel on the wrong side of the Oh my Whoa, god. Oh, Venge got blown up. And she now Secret's going to chase. Too. Oh, they turn back. This could be the end of the game if they wipe here. And now a desperation snowball to keep Tusk alive. He doesn't have a blink, so he's going to die from this one here. Travels forward. Shot, 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 shot. Ho, ho, ha, ha. RTZ is going to get the kill there, and the racks will go down. They take down both supports. No buyback. Tusk out for a minute. Secret now with the upper hand. Get the first real base damage done. Feeling pretty tasty, like it might be a 2-0 series run here. Secret move to the other side, and they already take down the tier 3 in the mid lane. Raxes will be exposed there, but... They're going to look to step... Butterfly gives him attack speed. It really leverages his high HP because now Peel has to build an MKB and that's not an item that Peel ever wants to build. So uh, kind of a rough spot here for Peel. There's almost no way that he can win a fight with Sniper now. And they do a Desperation Smoke and this is really important. Uh, the Sigil does not get smoked, by the way, so they've got to be careful with that. They can't bring it with. <laughs> And he's got four skill points in that, by the way. It's a huge cooldown. 26 seconds left. Can they kill Puppy first? This would be huge. There's the call. Axe as well. And they're going to even quap ulti this. Couple right clicks. That's going to lose a tusk for them. Though. Oh, he small oh. snowballs in. He's going in. Great stun on top of Arteezy. Another call. They need it in a second here. Here it is. Call going on. Arteezy any reflection damage. He's getting kind of low, but not enough being done. PL, they're getting so low. Way too much oh. AoE damage. And that's going to be good game there. Wow. Okay. It was close there for a bit. They make Secret sweat for it, but overall, it's it's just Secret Gaming doing what they do. Yeah. Put together a good draft. Really hard to really decide anyone on that team who could be the MVP. Everyone really pulled their own weight. They did their job, yeah. and it was just impressive performance. Props, though, to uh, the London Conspiracy Group, man. They put a funky, fresh lineup there with the Tusk and Agri.